We're power fishing for bass right now, and the concept of power fishing doesn't just apply to a springtime bass situation like we're in right now. In fact, we use the power fishing approach for just about everything that swims in fresh water. Power fishing, rolling up your sleeves and getting after any species of fish can be very advantageous. Fish are fish and they have to feed. Your job is to cover water and force them to commit. And you got one. Here are some examples of how we use power fishing for some alternate fish species. When most people think about bluegills, it's floats and live baits. Yeah, that works, but if you want to try something really fun, try topwater fishing Gums. for them. Oh. Last spring, Dan and I got on a topwater bite that was mind-boggling. We probably caught 20 bluegills that were over a pound on topwater baits. Bluegills can be very aggressive and will come from 10 feet or more to hit these lures. And oh man, is it fun. Hey, how about catfish? Many people use dead bait sitting on the bottom to trigger bites, and it works. But a couple of years ago, James and Nick Lindner did a show on power fishing for cats. These guys were spot hopping up and down the river using walleye spinner rigs and heavy current. They just crushed the giant catfish, and it was a real eye-opening experience. What about walleyes, you might ask? Traditionally, fishermen drag live bait around basins for a bite or two. Over the last five years, we've been beating up on the walleyes with the jig and wrap. This power fishing approach to walleye fishing has revolutionized the industry. Over the next few days, we're going to be chasing after several different bass species. White bass, smallmouth bass, and largemouth bass. Chances are, we'll be power fishing for all three. The point of all this is you don't have to move slow to get bit. Sometimes speed is the ultimate aphrodisiac for fish.